Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Men TV. I'm here, as you can see, at Liverpool's Academy. The under-23s are five wins from five in Premier League 2, in barnstorming form at the moment, and on Friday they take on Spurs at Anfield. Ahead of the game, I'm here to talk to the manager, Neil Critchley. So yeah, first and foremost, the under-23s are giving us all a bit of crumb of comfort at the moment. It looks like, the, I mean, you've had a sensational start to the season. Yeah, we have. You know, we, we, we've the boys have been excellent so far, and... Um, they're reaping the benefits of since the day one of pre-season even before that because of the way they, they worked during the summer in the close season a lot of them came back in real good condition and then um, their attitude and application during pre-season was first class and uh, results breeds confidence and the boys are full of confidence at the moment uh, we don't get too carried away when we're winning we try not to get too down when we're losing but so far so good the boys have been uh, terrific to work with yeah. it, it must be a bit of a double-edged sword because having uh, I mean the, the line of progression just looks so much more solid almost as solid as it's probably ever been for, from the academy to first team you've got Ben Woodburn there of course Trent absolutely flying they, they just look like real special talents now you can hold them up as shining examples you no longer got lads from 15 years ago it's great yeah, Stevie, yeah. great Michael and all that, but you've yeah. got examples right there. Yeah. These lads are doing it. That must really make your job a lot easier. Yeah, definitely. When when there's current players who, you know, were at the academy, you know, twelve months ago, and they're their friends. They've played with them since you know under eight, under nine, all the way through. Um, it, it does bring that little bit more optimism because um, it's you can sort of like smell it or touch it, you know it's there. And while we've got the manager that we've got at the moment who believes in the younger players and wants to play them and gives them opportunity, which is which is huge, you know, it's massive. Opportunity is is a real key to players' development. Um, without that, then the academy becomes nearly redundant. We've got that at the moment. Outside looking in as well, in terms of where the club are using loans, I think you know going back a few a, a few years, it felt very much like if a player went out on loan, the writing was on the wall. This was more an effort in you, how you move them on from the club. Whereas, I mean, again, let's look at midweek. Look at Danny Ward, perfect example of this. He's come back and he looks a man. He looks yeah. absolutely ready for first team football. And is that a, a sign of how the club are the club are getting better at, at handling these things? But also maybe just an example of how the the overall quality of the players coming through has improved as well. Yeah, I think you, I think you're spot on. I think um, you know to bridge that gap between a youth team player and a 23 player to go straight into Liverpool's first team is is a massive. It's, I think it's the biggest jump from all the way through the academy. You know, 16s to 18s, 18s to 23. I think the the biggest jump is to the Premier League. So sometimes, um, and the club recognises that they might need to bridge that gap, and a loan is perfect for that. And that doesn't mean, like you just said there, it's, well, we're sending them out on loan because the time at the club is finished. It's it's actually a tool to help them to develop to hopefully when they come back, they're closer, um, ready for the first team. Yeah, big game against Bears, particularly for players that think maybe like, like Harry Wilson, he feels like the the best to not really be given that opportunity at first team level yet? Is this a perfect platform for him almost? To, not that the manager wouldn't be watching him anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it does help, again, to, if he can show that he can do it at Anfield, yeah. that's not going to hurt his chances. No. Um, obviously, he spent the last few months at, um, at Melwood last season and uh, had a little taste of first team football. and So the first team manager and the staff are all aware of Harry's capabilities and he made a good impression there last last season. Um, he had an interrupted pre-season because of injury. Um, he's hit the ground running when he's come back from injury. He, he was flying Monday night. So playing at Anfield and putting in a good performance certainly won't do his um, uh, chances any harm for the future. But we... We've got to be, got to also just remember that he has just been out for the whole of pre season. He's going to need a little bit of time as well. But um, we'll have to revisit his um, pathway or his plan come come January when the transfer window opens again. 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, all the best. Good luck, Thank for, you. The, good luck for the game. Chat good luck for the rest of the season. Thank, Thank you very much. much. There you go, what a game in prospect, and you can be there, you can get down there and support the next generation of Liverpool superstars, get down to Anfield, get yourself in there, make some noise and scream on the Reds to further success this season. Don't forget to subscribe to the Red Men TV, leave your thoughts on anything in the comments below, and if you want more from the under-23s and more from the Red Men TV, including more audio from the Neil Critchley interview, you can do theredmentv.com.